Right now on your screen, you guys can see I have no players in my lineup. And over here, as you guys can see, we have a button. Every time we click this button, it gives us a random NFL team. And for every NFL team, we get one player from the position that we predetermined before we pick the random team. So for instance, we would have had Michael Vick if he was our quarterback selection. The only rules of this challenge is we have to select the team from the team filter, meaning if a card played for multiple teams, but their base chemistry isn't for the team that we get from the random selector, we're not allowed to use them. So anyways, let's start off with position number one. So our position Position number one is actually going to be a little bit different than every other position. We're just going to select an entire O-line, and I think this is a great way to start off the video. So heading on over to our magic button right here, let's generate our team. Please give us a good O-line, and we get the Miami Dolphins. So heading back over to Madden, we're subject to the best right tackle, right guard, center, left guard, and left tackle. Right tackle for the Dolphins is actually pretty solid, and we get a 94 overall. We'll go ahead and take that. Only 80k as well. Next up here, we're not as lucky, and we get a gold Robert Hunt. And at our center center position it's looking like the best card that we can get right here is a mike pouncy he probably has an 89 overall but it's just not up on the block right now unfortunately All right here our left guard is solomon kinley and right here is the Dolphins' left tackle that we're going to go ahead and take 84 overall. So yeah, sadly, we built a pretty poor offensive line, but hopefully the rest of our offense will make up for it. So the next position right here we're going to go ahead and roll for is the tight end, and we get the San Francisco 49ers. All right, and heading on over, we do have two options here. It's either Vernon Davis or George Kittle. I think Vernon Davis is cheaper and better, so there's literally no point in taking George Kittle. So yeah, 95 overall tight end. Let's add him to the squad, 100k. We will take that. All right, so the next position we're gonna roll for right here is fullback and we get the Carolina Panthers anyways right here is our team builders three pack this is the only way to get a Panthers fullback that I am aware of so there we go 93 overall add to our team anyways boys we're gonna save the wide receivers quarterbacks and running backs till later in the video so for right now we're gonna switch on over to the defensive side of the ball and we're gonna roll for our defensive tackles our first team right here is the Raiders and our second team is the Jets anyways so it looks like the best Raiders defense Defensive tackle you can get is Warren Sapp, 84 overall. The best Jets defensive tackle, it's gonna be looking like it's looking like it's gonna be 86 overall Quinn and Williams. Alright, so the next option that we're gonna go and roll is left end or left outside rusher. So it could be a left outside linebacker if we want it to be, and it's gonna be the San Francisco 49ers. So first off, let's check our options at left outside linebacker. It's looking like Charles Hayes is actually a pretty solid option at 90 overall. And our second option would be a left end, and it might be a reek arm. Armstead. So since Arik Armstead is the higher overall, we're going to go ahead and pick him up here at 84,000 coins. Our next option here is going to be a right outside edge rusher, whether that's an outside linebacker or an end. And our team is the New York Jets. Great. Anyways, switching back over here, our options are actually pretty good. We do have Kevin Mawai right here. And on the right end, we have John Abraham and Carl Lawson. Honestly, out of all of these guys, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the John Abraham card. I know it's not even the highest overall right end. But he's definitely a better card, I think, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe Carl Lawson's better. I really don't know. I'm not a competitive Madden player. Never claimed to be. But anyways, back to our generator. Now we're going to be getting a deep free safety card. And that's going to be from the Philadelphia. Eagles. All right, and right here are the Philadelphia Eagles free safeties. It's obviously going to be Brian Dawkins. There's nobody else that comes close. And honestly, we're going to go all out and we're going to splurge here on the Redux 96 overall B Doc. The card has 95 speed, 96 hit power. The only thing it's lacking in is man coverage, obviously. But otherwise, this is a really good card. We'll go ahead and scoop this up right here. All right, back on over to our generator. This is going to be our strong safety position right here. And we get the Pittsburgh. Steelers. I think they got Palomalu who's got a really good card, so let's go check him out. And yeah, I was not mistaken one bit. We got a 96 overall Troy Palomalu. Another great high overall card. He's just as good as B-Doc, except a little lower speed, but actually can play man coverage. So yeah, another sick pickup right there. Let's go, baby. Anyways, boys, now we need three cornerbacks, so we're gonna roll all three teams at once. Our first team right here is the New England Patriots. Our second team right here is the New York Giants. And our third team is the Cleveland Browns. Yes, sir. Denzel Ward's coming home, baby. All right, so for the Patriots, we actually have a few options here. It's either Gilmore, Jackson, or Ty Law. I think Gilmore's a little slow. JC's a tad bit too small, I think. So we're going to go ahead and take Ty Law. I know Ty Law's not that much bigger. He might even be smaller than JC, but I'm just pretty sure that Ty Law overall is a great card. Yeah, 
94 speed, 511's not that bad, and he's got decent press as well. I can't be too mad at this pickup. All right, so our next pickup is gonna be from the Giants right here. I don't think it's really a question. Tiki Barber's looking like an absolute stud at 98 overall. We don't even need to look at the stats. Yes, sir, bring him to the squad. And obviously the Browns, I don't think we even need to look. You know your boy's a big fan of this card, Denzel Ward, for sure. Let me pick him up right now. So anyways, now we have two final positions we need to get, and that is middle linebacker. For middle linebackers, I don't really like using them. So for this generation, it's gonna be either middle linebacker or sub linebacker. Any types of sub linebackers, I think, can be strong safeties as well. So they're just gonna be added just in case there are no good middle linebackers. But anyways, we're gonna do both of them at once because it's the same position again. And our first option is the Jaguars. Oh, no. And our second option is the uh, Raiders. Okay, Raiders aren't bad. All right, so for Jaguar, middle linebacker options, we get Damian Wilson, which isn't too bad, I guess. And our strong safety option for the Jaguars is not good at all, so we are going to have to use a middle linebacker. I don't already like middle linebackers, and I'm pretty sure this guy's pretty slow. So yeah, Damian Wilson, whatever his name is, and he has 90 speed. Bro, are you kidding me? Well, 95 overall for 100k that can run as quick quick as my grandma. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. But anyways, here's redemption time right here. We got the Raiders. I know they have Ted Hendricks and I can sub him in at sub linebacker, but let's just make sure we have any other options. Denzel Perriman. Yeah, yeah, you're funny, bro. Nah, 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 nah. We're going to go ahead and pick up Ted Hendricks unless there's another strong safety I'm unaware of. Yeah, Ted Hendricks, 95 overall. He's got the height. He's going to be a beast at middle linebacker. Welcome to the squad. So anyways, boys, let's go ahead and check out what our defense is looking like, as well as our uncompleted offense. So right here's our uncompleted offense. We'll take a look at this later, but right here is our fully completed defense. We got great corners. The only thing that's lacking is kind of our defensive tackles, but we have decent edge rushers as well. And then right here, we have B-Doc playing deep, Troy Palomalu playing deep, and then Damian Wilson and Ted Hendricks will be in the middle. Obviously, you can't put them at middle linebacker though. But yeah, just for proof right here, Ted Hendricks is in at sub linebacker. Anyways, boys, it's now time for us to get three wide receivers, two running backs, and one quarterback to lead our team. So back on over to the generator right here. We're going to spin all three of our wide receivers at once. Wide receiver number one is going to be from the Giants. Two is going to be from the Browns. And three is going to be from the Jaguars again. Ugh. Switching back over to Madden, of course, right here. Let's go ahead and see what our options are from the Jaguars first. We just need one good wide receiver from here bro scrolling on down oh i forgot jimmy smith holy cow never mind we got a lot of good options here we got jimmy smith robbie anderson but honestly i don't really think it's an argument we're gonna go ahead and pick up jimmy smith right here i'm about to lose so many coins off of this video because i'm gonna sell this card back for probably like half this price but jimmy smith holy cow 98 overall wide receiver i did not expect that anyways next team we're gonna go ahead and look at here's the browns browns i'm pretty sure do have some decent wide receivers to my knowledge and yes the new amar Amari Cooper, another stud. How could I forget? It was either be him or Josh Gordon, but Amari Cooper, 291K. Is that 298 wide receivers? What is this? That's crazy. Anyways, next wide receiver up here is the Giants. I thought this was going to be our best because I know Plaxico Burris has a card, but Kadarius Tony. I completely forgot about Kadarius Tony as well and Odell. But as you guys can see, we're running a little short on coins. So if you are a Giants fan, I'm sorry. We're going to be cutting you short here. I kind of already had the intent of picking up Plaxico Burris. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do that. He's 50k and we really don't need 398 wide receivers anyways. So like I said, sorry if you're a Giants fan, but hopefully Plaxico is enough to wet your whistle. Anyways, back to the team generator. Two running back options here. Our first team is going to be the Raiders and our second team is going to be the Niners. Interesting. I think we all know one stud Raiders running back. That's not going to really be too much of a surprise, which is definitely Bo Jackson. But let's see what else we got here. We got Bo. We have Josh Jacobs. We got Marcus Allen and Kenyon Drake. I'm going to go ahead and check out the 49ers because we don't need two stud running backs. We need a stud running back and a backup. So let's see what our running back options over here on the 49ers are going to be looking like. I know Roger Craig for sure. Debo, I think, has a 94 as well. Or maybe not. Does Debo have a wide receiver card from the playoffs? Where's Debo's card? Maybe he's on a different team or something. I'm not sure. That's weird. But he wouldn't be on a different team. I don't know. Well, we definitely know what our backup gonna be it's gonna be this Raheem Mostert card for sure because he's just a good budget guy 
die in general. So yeah, we'll go ahead and pick up this Raheem Mostert for 60k. Now this also allows us to splurge out our main running back position, which is the Raiders, obviously. And going on over to the Raiders, we're obviously going to pick up Marcus Allen. I mean, I really don't think anybody wants to see me use Kenyon Drake. So yeah, welcome to the team, Marcus Allen. Yes, sir. Alrighty, boys. And last but not least, the quarterback position. Let's hit generate team and see who we're going to get. And our commander is going to be from the Denver Broncos. I'm pretty sure Russell Wilson has Denver chem on him, but I also know Peyton Manning is from the Broncos as well. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just see what we got here. Tim Tebow as well. I didn't even think about that. Does he have a good card? Tim Tebow at 96 overall, Peyton Manning at 97 overall, and Russell Wilson at 98 overall. Wow. I don't know, boys. Let me know in the comments down below who you would pick here in this situation. I really don't like left-handed quarterbacks. I learned that with Vic. But between Manning and Russell, I bet Russell has the better card, but Peyton Manning has the baked-in abilities. I don't care. I'm picking up Russell Wilson, 98 overall. And, of course, the auction ended. Anyways, let's go ahead and pick up Russell Wilson, 296,000 coins. I can't complain. That's a pretty solid quarterback. Alrighty, boys. Now, right before I hit generate best lineup right here, I need to ask you guys one thing. Check down below below make sure you're subscribed to the channel because i'm going to continue to upload bangers on madden 22 and madden 23 and following maddens in the future so you don't want to be missing out on those but anyways boys let's hit generate best lineup and see what we get and right here boys here's our offense and we have an 89 overall i'll explain why that's so low but as you can see this team is actually kind of broken in a sense we have russell wilson 298 overall wide receivers a solid a really great running back and i love receiving backs so that helps even more he mostert's a great backup and this is where our overall gets tanked as you guys can see our line is absolute trash it is what it is there i thought doing one team for the entire line would be the best decision possible it just didn't pay off going on to our defense i already showed you guys this and explained it to you guys if you want one last look take a look right there but anyways if you guys want to see some gameplay with this team i'm not going to put it in this video but if you head over to my second channel that's where i'm going to be posting a lot of my gameplays of teams that we build i'll probably link it in the description the gameplay is not going to be up right when this video is out but it should be in the future days anyways boys i appreciate all support recently. Peace out.